Hi, I'm RJ Ledesma, and I'm very happy to begin our wedding conversation series with the woman who brought me into the wedding industry in the first place. And that's Tita Rita Neri, uh, one of the country's premier wedding and event yes. planners uh, yes. right now. Not many of us get to ask personal questions about, about our lives, yeah. about being wedding planners. But more importantly, let's say for you, Tita, you're a wedding planner, but people really, really don't know what is the life of a wedding planner like. Let's say, yeah. what's a day in life for you? If you were to break it down, it's really a series of meetings. Mm -hmm. It's a series of meetings in different stages. It's initial meetings. So you're, you're doing a concept. So you're, you're talking to them, what's your dream wedding, how is it like, and everything. Or maybe in the afternoon, you're going to have a meeting that's finalization. So you're ending, it's another couple, and you're saying, okay, this is our checklist, where else are we lacking, what else do you want? Or if you're lucky, you're out doing a destination wedding. Okay, okay. Okay, so you get to, you know, explore out there and not just see the city. You could be somewhere in Tagaytay, Batangas, or even out of the country. I see. So I see. that's it's really a daily grind of meetings, and you have to know how to manage your time mm. and how to manage the people who works with you. That's right. This year we celebrated your 25th anniversary. 25th. In, yes. in, in the industry, going strong. How do you make sure that you you stay fresh? What's keeping you passionate about the industry? I have been so lucky that I have a great chief operating officer who's so much younger than me, which is Nerissa Neri, my niece. And she's the one who really put us on the web, on the technical side. Mm -hmm. If you were to leave it to me, I would be happy just writing everything down. She goes, no. So this is what we have to be. This is the social media we have to approach. We have to be, always be out there. And um, she nags me to understand what it's all about. I see, I see. So when you tell me, okay, this is the, the YouTube, you have to do this, you have to do that. She explains it to me and then we're on board. Let's face it, in the past 10 years, the movement has been so fast. Mm -hmm. It's not only a 360-degree turn. My brides of, let's say, five years ago, 10 years ago, are so different. You have to know how to tweak it that you understand. Mm -hmm. You are not being passé in their generation. But what works, and this one for me is a plus on our end, mm -hmm. is that because we have been around for 25 years, I can relate to the aunt, to the mother, <laughs> not yet to the lola, no, not oh. that far. <laughs> to the aunt, to the mother, the cousin, because they're different generations. Mm -hmm. So what the mother says, I'm just giving an example. Oh, but I want to have a band because I'm going to do ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. And I imagine the bride saying, oh, no ballroom dancing. So automatically I'll say, I'm sure you're going to want to have a, a DJ. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you know through generations what they're going to want. And you're able to complement the, the total audience package who is there Correct. in attendance it's, of the it's wedding. It's a general thing because, uh, let's say, weddings, you, you have to please everybody as much as possible. People often ask when they when they come up with a dream wedding, of course, they're also working with a budget. And they often say, you know, Always do, a budget. do I really need to have a, a planner for, yeah. for a wedding? Why do you think they need to have a planner for the wedding? You know, it, it it's not right that you insist they need a planner. Mm -mm. What, when I sit down with a prospective client, I will ask them, if ever that thing should come up, now, uh, the mere fact that you look for me, mm -hmm. uh, a planner, means to say you have doubts about how you can plan your wedding mm -hmm. or any event for that matter. So I ask them, what is your priority? That's one. What is your problem area? How busy are you? Mm -hmm. It's important that I need to, one, definitely why you need it and when do you need it? When do you need the planner? Because if, let's say, I need a planner because midway, I'm going to be assigned abroad. Okay. So you can start it and then we continue it. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, I'm often I'm getting uh, remarks like, I need a planner because my mother-in-law has a different uh, slant on things. Uh, so the time schedule has to manage. Exactly. Okay, I see. And the other one is, I do not want to do this. Okay. I have, I have and, and let's face it, RJ, people are so busy now. Mm -hmm. They're really busy now. I mean, doctors, lawyers, IT people, you know, it's, it's such a busy world. And uh, last but not least, they always say, you would know better than what to do than I would. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. guide me, please. How do they know when they should get an on-the-day planner or a full coordinator? Me, basically, I would always want to get a full. Uh, not for anything, because sometimes, like, when they feel they, only, they can do it and they only get on the day, and when they finally turn it over, sometimes we end up doing double work. I see, Because I see. they did not do it properly. Okay. Which I do not blame them, because they're not among planners, no? Mm -hmm. Whereas... You get us in full, we're there to hold your hand most of the time. So we're doing the legwork, the grunge work, the groundwork, like, uh, you know, calling up the churches, you don't have to do that. Even the payables, we'll track it for you. 
whatever fits your lifestyle. What should they look for in, in a good wedding planner? Because you know there are so many out there right now. Yes. We don't know, you know, I was how told do you know it's good enough? There are 500 enough? wedding planners so, there's now. There's a lot, there's a lot. And there's yeah. per, per region now, per yeah. province. So how yeah. can they tell right now that the, the, the planner that they're getting is on the level or somebody that they can, who can do the job right? Number one, you have to do your research. Mm -hmm. And a good thing about social media is that you can easily reach out mm -hmm. and find out are they good or not. Mm -hmm. So let's say um, after you do your research, trim it down to five, trim it down to three, trim it down to two or one. Mm -hmm. You have to meet them. You have to meet them because like with me, I operate on gut feel. Let's say they're all created equal. Mm -hmm. What's your gut feel? Your gut feel will tell you, I can work with this person long term. Because not like a photo or a video or a cake maker, the bride will only meet them once, twice. A planner is almost constant. Okay. So if you don't like this planner, you don't trust this planner, you're going to have problems. That's right. Right? Uh -oh. So go with your gut feel. The number one for me is expertise. You should not know more than your planner. Is it good etiquette to say, I I'm actually going to talk to you, but I'm shopping around with other yes, planners? Yes, you should. It's a shopping around meeting okay. like, uh, what are your packages compared to this? I mean, we're often asked like, oh, the package of this one has this. Does yours have this also? And I say yes. And then you explain. Before we even talk, I have to find out if I'm available to do your wedding. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we can only do so much. And then after that, uh, where, when, you get all the details. Mm -hmm. Then once we sit down and say, okay, what is your dream wedding? What are your expectations? What are you looking for in a planner? Because for all you know, your expectations, uh, in as much as we would like to do it, we don't do it for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, we can toss some brainstorming ideas. Because often, the, you know, whether you like it or not, your brain, your brain will, be pricked, will be picked. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like we we're thinking of going to this destination as compared to this. What do you think? And we don't mind it because that's where you gauge. How your how your planner explains it and her knowledge. I see, I see. Right, so and that's where really, that's where it really comes out. The, yes. the breadth and depth of the experience. Exactly. Of the planner over yeah, there. Yeah, because it also says that oh, um, I'm thinking of doing a wedding in Tagaytay at this venue. I can already tell you what their packages are and who you should get. I see. I so see. you're already one step ahead. They already know. Oh, she knows what she's talking about. You're one of the most prominent, one of the first here in the industries as well. Yep. How do you make sure that up to now, um, you still stand out? You have to reinvent yourself. That at 25 years, you're still you're still uh, at the top of your game. It's keeping abreast of what is happening out there. Mm -hmm. What does the millennial, the centennial, or whatever next generation looking for? And you have to tap into that and not insist of what you knew before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it doesn't apply anymore so mm -hmm. don't insist on it you have to literally go with the flow okay okay so if they just want to chill they don't want to do a first dance don't force it, it it's their habit it's their day mm, that's so right, you know right. it's fine if they say i want to do a whatsapp group chat whatever let's go for it i can even tell you we'll do also viber and everything else so they know that you are looking out for them and it's not just you insisting what you want so how do you keep abreast? First of all, you really have to know trends. Mm -hmm. You really have to know trends. Not only social media, but do you know what the latest color is for this year? It's um, mauve or violet. Violet. Oh, there. See? Yeah, Close violet. enough. Close <laughs> enough, right, guys? It's At least violet. I knew something, right? Rose gold is on the way out, but it's still kind of loitering around, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's really violet. Coming in very strong. With hundreds of weddings that you've been doing, what are the trends that you want to see more of? And what are the trends that you want to see less of when it comes to weddings? Less of the vintage, maybe. Simply because um, many people don't understand that it's already passé, you know, and it's only good for certain areas. If you're out there in a destination wedding and it's, it's really nice, go for it. But if you're in a ballroom with, you know, gilt wallpaper and everything, mm. don't force the vintage. What do I want to see more of? Classic white. Classic white. Classic white, simply because 10 years from now, when your daughter says, okay, Mommy, can I see your wedding album? Mm -hmm. it, it's still okay. You know, it, it will stand the test of time. Because no matter what you say, classic will stand the test of time. And they're not going to say, ah, pinaglaruan. You know, mm -hmm. oh, she played around with the fad. You know, when you date a wedding, that's the worst that you can do. So you try to make it timeless, yes. in other words, for, yes. for many of the weddings. Yeah. What, are your, what are your tips for couples based abroad who need to manage their wedding via remote control or via... You, you know, via, RJ, just yeah. recently, I... I, I not feeling bad, but it just dawned on me. Uh, I am getting couples I have never met. Mm -hmm. You know, I just Skype call or everything like that. And I said, wow, there'll come a day I'm going to do a wedding. I've never met this person. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that's she's right. still an RNEP bride. Yeah. yeah. So, well, going back really to your question, 
overseas couples, um, the first thing I need them to do is please check your documentation. Mm -hmm. I need to know, can you really get married? Because um, unfortunately, especially this generation, they don't understand and they often question, how come I can't get married there? Mm -hmm. You know, why do I have to go through the chancery? Why can't you fix the papers? You know, I hired you, so you should fix the papers. And we would gladly fix the papers, but the church is requiring you to show up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not us getting married, and the church is getting more strict. So we explain it. Start early, because sometimes we need you to take an additional trip. Another thing is, um, please be aware of the weather. I don't want your dream day being rained out because you chose the wrong month. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, please. I again another please. Avoid Christmas. Okay. Avoid please Christmas because you know they get so upset na they can't get their chosen suppliers because they have been pre-booked. How about in terms of destination weddings? What should couples remember when planning for destination weddings? Security, ease of travel, uh, multitude of uh, accommodations, and the venue should be wedding friendly. I've had couples say, "I want to get married and it's on top of a mountain," and and I said, uh, "Okay." And then she tells me she has two 80-year-old grandmothers. Oh, okay. okay. I, I mean, you know, let's be realistic about this, right? Please just don't rely on the pictures of the brochure or what when you log in and you check out the, their page. Try to go there and check it out yourself. I see. Have there been any weddings in particular that stand out to you as being memorable? I mean, that's a very subjective question, but I'm yeah. sure that there's some that you remember like, wow, um, this was a good wedding. A wedding will stand out when you see them, number one, so in love. Really, so in love. Mm. And it's not the cheesy kind of love. You know it. Mm. You, you've, you've seen it, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Number two is when they let go and enjoyed. Okay? And number three is everyone had fun. Okay. All three qualify when we did Judai's wedding. Yeah. You know why? Because it was so difficult to implement, but it was so worth it because everyone just had so much fun. Tita also as well, uh, as, as they move forward, what are the tips that you want to keep in mind for specific brides and grooms on, on, on as they approach their wedding day and on the day itself? They should never lose focus of why they're saying I do. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when they get caught up with the planning, they lose focus that, hey, it's the marriage that's important. Mm. The wedding is just a day. That's right. That's okay, right. I mean, I can help you here as much as my whole efforts will be, you know, focused on this. I cannot help you in the marriage. And they lose sight of this. What does it matter if the napkin was not, uh, you know, folded the right way? Mm, that's right, that's right. Okay, th does it really matter in the greater scheme of things? You focus on what's most important, that you two can get married. Because, you know, the flowers and everything, it'll come. What makes it a retinary wedding? The professionalism. We are not a mom and pop. We are a bona fide company that has survived 25 celebrating 25 years and we really pride ourselves that one we answer you fast if we don't know the answer believe me we will look, try and find it for you number three is that we have a group a team that's really dedicated to helping you it's the professionalism that we're bringing to the career to being a wedding planner it's not a mom and pop it's not like oh my sister's helping me out there yes my niece, it's a family thing, it's family affair, but we do have an office to back us up. That's right. But I'm looking forward to many more years of working together. Many, many more years. With the Rita Neri event planners. And you're going to be in our 25th anniversary Exactly, I'll party. be there as well. I'll be okay. there as well. So if you've got more questions or feedback uh, for us uh, with regard to wedding planning, wedding hosting, please feel free to leave a message over here at our YouTube channel. But at the same time, uh, Tita Rita, where can they get in touch with you guys? Look us up on Facebook, Rita Neri event planners. As it is. Thanks so much, Peterita. Thank you for having me. Thanks, guys. Me. Thank you so much.